Weekend Picks for Book Lovers, Special Christmas Edition. Compiled by Jocelyn McClurg, USA Today published 6 a.m. What Should You Read This Weekend? USA Today's picks for book lovers include a festive collection of new books that celebrate Christmas, both fiction and non-fiction. Christmas, a biography by Judith Flanders, Thomas Dunn Books, St. Martin's, 256 pp, non-fiction. It's the most wonderful time of the year, as the song goes. Christmas means parties and eggnog and presents and tree trimming and oh yes, carols on an endless loop. How did we get here? London-based author Judith Flanders answers the question in Christmas, a biography, a detailed history that effortlessly whisks us from biblical times to the present, with many stops along the way in various countries and cultures. The book is stuffed with surprising revelations, why there are 12 days of Christmas, how tipping became a holiday must, when mistletoe was first dangled overhead, and things you've probably never thought about as you rush around finishing last-minute shopping, when did Rudolph first flash his red nose? 1939, in a pamphlet created for retailer Montgomery Ward. Flanders relegates the so-called War on Christmas to a mere footnote, while happily celebrating the holiday over the centuries and debunking plenty of myths. Eating, drinking and making merry have always been part of Christmas. In a tug-of-war between the religious and secular, the latter usually wins. And dreaming of an even whiter Christmas, it seems, has long been a misty-eyed tradition. We are forever remembering that wondrous, nostalgically flawless day that is seared in our memories, the day we can never quite recapture, the perfect Christmas, Flanders writes. USA Today says one half out of four. Fascinating and lively. Mr. Dickens and His Carol by Samantha Silva, Flatiron, 288 pp. It's November 1843 and Charles Dickens, on a tight deadline and in debt, must write the book that will become a Christmas classic. But wait, who is the lovely, elusive Eleanor Lovejoy, a mysterious would-be muse for our writer-hero? USA Today says. Tis the season, happily for fans of A Christmas Carol, for getting scrooged. A Christmas Novel by Annie England Noblin, William Morrow, 369 pp. After a messy divorce and sudden move to Memphis, Bertie Benson finds herself as a former wife, a former bakery owner and a soon-to-be former house guest of her best friend, Elliot. Andrew drooling Teddy Roosevelt, a pug, and his elderly owner, Pauline Newman who needs a house and dog sitter after she moves into assisted living. USA Today says. Both lighthearted and life-affirming. Readers are in for a sweet treat. The Noel Diary by Richard Paul Evans, Simon & Schuster, 283 pp. It's December, and Jacob Churcher, a best-selling author, must revisit a rough childhood and clean up the Salt Lake City home of his estranged abusive mother after she dies. A mysterious woman named Rachel knocks on the door looking for her own mom. USA Today says. Explores complicated morals and emotions while warming your heart. The Usual Santas, by various writers, Soho Crime, 400 pp collects 18 Christmas capers full of bloody holiday spirit and ho-ho homicide, spanning continents and centuries as well as a broad range of genre. USA Today says. What these Christmas stories have in common is the humanity at the core of crime the ugliness, the anxiety, the generosity, 